In the previous lecture, we spent a little bit of time defining our own custom mount function that does a few extra things, including installing some plugins. Before we go on, I'm going to clean up this file a little bit. It's already getting a little bit messy and hard to manage. We're then going to go ahead and write some tests. First thing I'm going to do is move all of these imports to the top. I think that's going to make it a little bit easier to read. So let's just go ahead and move all of those right up here at the top. I'm also going to delete some of this boilerplate code. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to talk about creating our own custom mount command in just a moment. For now, I'm going to delete that one as well and then walk you through how to write your own. Finally, I'm going to delete this comment down here and save it off. Cypress does watch this file automatically, so it's going to rerun my tests and everything is still working. Let's now continue on and write some tests. We haven't got any tests right now, so let's head over to the component and have a think about what we might need to test. And there's actually not too much happening here. There's one main conditional, which is this v if. If the user is currently authenticated, indicated by the current user ID, we're going to show a new post button and a logout button. Otherwise, we're going to show sign up or sign in. We're going to write those tests first and then talk about the teleport modal test a little bit afterwards. Let's head over to navbus ITS and start writing our tests. The first one is going to say it renders, uh, let's call them call to action buttons when not authenticated. Uh, probably not the most descriptive test, but it'll do for now. We're just going to assert that sign up and sign in are rendered. So I can go ahead and grab those buttons and just assert that they contain the correct text, sign up and sign in. And these are going to pass. Again, let's make sure it fails and it does. So everything is working correctly. A potential improvement might be using something like an accessibility selector. I'm just going to keep this one simple for now. Let's go ahead and write the opposite test, which is going to be when the user is authenticated. So we're going to go ahead and call these action buttons when they are authenticated. Of course, we save this off. Uh, this is going to pass, but these assertions are incorrect. What we were expecting was a logout button. So I'm going to have logout. And we're also going to have a new post button. If we head over to our navbar component, we can see the logout button is a button, but new post is going to be a router link, which ultimately renders an anchor tag. So we're going to change our assertion a little bit. If we head back here, we're just going to change that to be an anchor tag, and this one is going to be new post. If we save this off, it is going to fail, and that's because we haven't set up our store correctly. What we need to do now is make sure the store is correctly configured for this test. In this case, this variable should be true, current user ID, and currently it is not. Because we've already set up our store earlier, we set it up here inside of a component TS file. All we need to do is go ahead and change the value of this inside of our test. It's going to be as simple as what we do in the component. We just need to import the use user store function and then go ahead and assign some values. So let's go ahead and try that. If I head back here to my test, I'm just going to go in here and say const user store. And hopefully this is going to import automatically. And so it is. Then we just need to go ahead and assign a value here. So I'm going to put this up the top and say user store dot current user ID is equal to one. If we save this off. Uh, this has definitely changed. Well, the test is still failing, unfortunately. <laughs> For the right reasons, this should be logged out because we're currently logged in. Go ahead and save it. And everything is now passing exactly what I was expecting. And again, this test is very simple because we put the time and effort into creating our custom mount function earlier. I'm going to space this one out a bit to make it a bit more clear. We have our setup here, we have our acting here, and we have our assertions down the bottom. The final thing we need to do is talk about what other test coverage we might need for this component. If we head back to the navbar component, we can see a few things that are not covered. Namely, we don't actually click on any of these buttons. We could go ahead and click and uh, these would actually work. Just to show you what happens, I could go ahead and log out. Uh, it is going to log out. It did make a real API request, which for a Ford, <laughs> not exactly ideal. Uh, if we go ahead and check out what the other test does, we're going to see that they actually do function correctly as well, even though we're not doing any assertions. It is rendering my modal as expected. We could attempt to assert these things and assert, uh, for example, that the correct API request is made when we click on this button. But I really see this as more of an end to end test. I'd rather test this in the context of the entire application and get some coverage around my back end code as well. The same can be said for these modules. I'd like to test this in a more end to end fashion. So what I'm going to do is leave that test for later. We're going to write an end to end test for that. Again, you could do this. You can see it's clearly functioning here, but where do you draw the line? Do we then go ahead and create a new user and then assert that that request is correctly updating the database? Probably could, but at that point, are you really writing a component test? 
I don't think so. I think it's more of an end-to-end -end test. So I'm going to leave that one for later on in this series of lectures. For now, I'm pretty happy with our navbar test, and I'm also very happy with my custom mount function. And we're going to continue building and making this more type safe as we move forward.